So today I have another album review, and this is from the Max Cavalera family tree. Uh, the name of the album is Go Ahead and Die. This is their second album called Unhealthy uh, Mechanisms. Uh, so Max Cavalera, he just has this awesome reputation, and he is just such like this productive guy. He doesn't stop working. I think in the past three years that my channel has been active, there have been so many albums from either this guy or his son or his cousin or anyone else. Like, this guy seems to be appearing on everything. So, so the last time we heard of Max Cavalera was only a few months ago. Was uh, They released the, the two uh, first uh, Sepultura albums and EP when they re-recorded it. And that was a great album. They are actually two great albums. But uh, here's another one with Max. So it's talk about Go Ahead and Die. This one's a little heavier. It's Max... Cavalera, it's his son, uh, Igor Amadeus Cavalera, and they have a new uh, metal drummer, his name is Johnny Valles, and uh, just music is just very heavy, we got some really uh, great tracks, and they mix death metal, thrash, and hardcore, I think that would be like the genre that we're going for here. So this album uh, has lots of different styles, there's some like 80s crossover punk, but then there are some songs... Uh, that are closer to that Beneath the Remains era Sepultura. And then there are other songs that are more like the modern uh, metal bands like Power Trip or modern death metal like Gate Creeper. So there's a lot of influences going on here. It's a really uh, heavy album. You have the vocals from Max, which are always great. And then you also have the vocals from uh, Igor Amadeus. Uh, he has more of like a heavier, grittier death metal style in his vocals and uh, it all sounds uh, great igor has been on uh, different projects um from max such as soulfly and uh, other bands i was reading an article with i think it was loudwire when they said that uh they think by 2030 um, almost like every heavy metal band out there will have been influenced by one of the cavalera bands uh, i thought that was pretty interesting because these guys are taking over the metal world. So, enough history. Let me uh, get into the track by track. <music> Opening track, Desert Carnage. Uh, this song is very intense. It starts with blast beats and aggressive vocals. Uh, it kicks off the album with a bang. They play a lot of death metal style vocals, and the song takes lots of twists and turns. Uh, some parts are slower, some parts are more feeling, other are, are more fast and intense. Towards the end, they have a slow part with the bass guitar. There's a lot going on in just about four minutes. Next song, Split Scalp. Uh, this one starts off just like the one before. Very intense with blast beats at first, and then it goes into a slower uh, groove metal riff. I like this one a lot. The guitars sound great. The vocals are very intense. Uh, the song goes through lots of changes with blast beats uh, coming in and out. And the tempo changes uh, just keep things very interesting. Next is Tumors. Uh, this is a great song. It has that old school thrash vibe with chugging guitars and memorable guitar riffs. Uh, this one has Max on vocals. You could tell his voice right away. There are some sick and vile uh, vocals by his son as well. Like I was saying, his vocals are a little more aggressive and deeper and darker and I think this song is a little slower. It works well in the context of the album. There's some death metal elements here as well and some tremolo picking and those faster drum beats. Drugo Cop is another song. It's uh, similar to the one right before. It's more of that old school thrash metal so sound. Max is on vocals. Uh, the sound continues, that old school sound with hints of that early Sepultura. I really like the main guitar riff on this one. The vocals are great. You can understand what he's saying. There's a part towards the end. They slow it down. That gives the song a lot of feeling. There's also some of those like police sirens that kind of like fills out the entire sound experience. No Easy Way Out is a fast and heavy song. It has some hardcore punk influence with complexity of uh, these death metal guitar riffs. Uh, Two songs before it were old school thrash, but this one is more on the extreme side.
Next is MDA, which stands for Most Dangerous Animal. This one's pretty interesting. Starts out like any other song in the album, but then they go into a spoken word part. It leads into some fast and intense drum beats, uh, vocals, death metal guitar riffs. Um, they keep things interesting by changing the tempos throughout the song. There are some slow parts to keep things interesting, and the last part of the song sounds like classic thrash. Chasm starts with a bass guitar intro and some feedback-driven guitars, and it goes into some very intense blast beats. Uh, so on the song, Igor Amadeus shows his vocal abilities. The song is more on the extreme side with tempos, and the heaviness turned up a notch. The bass guitar sounds awesome. It comes in and out of the song. I like the guitar solo, and it's kind of more on the slow and atmospheric side, so that was a nice change of pace. Next is Cyber Slavery. Um, this one has kind of a weird intro, but it sounds more like a hardcore punk song. Uh, Max does some really heavy vocals. The guitar playing is more straightforward. This one has a cool bass guitar sound, and just overall, the production is very good. The track number nine is Blast Zone. This one is pretty cool. It has a drum intro, and then you can hear like the sound effects of gunfire. So that's pretty cool. This has that old school uh, thrash metal sound. I think it sounds very good. It's a little slower. It has that chugging and galloping sound. The vocals are very intense. There are also some tempo changes and blast beats. Uh, I like there are throughout most of the album. Last is uh, Unhealthy Mechanisms, the title track. Uh, this one has like sound bites with distorted voices and you hear some weird stuff and then it's more of like an old school death metal uh, song, but they mix it with some of that like metallic hardcore. I think the death metal sound is like the most dominant uh, aspect of the song. It's just very fast and intense. And then the middle of the song has some of that chugging uh, for those of you who like thrash metal. So that is all. I think everything uh, that Max Cavalera puts out is great. I've enjoyed everything uh, that he or anyone from his family has produced. Uh, there have been a lot of albums I've reviewed over the past three years on my channel and uh, they've all been putting out some great quality metal and extreme metal so I recommend this I think uh, this one might be a little better than the debut there's a little more variety on it I probably need some more time with it but I think for now I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 that could go up by the end of the month when I do my uh, roundup but it's the type of album that probably needs a couple more repeat listens to grow on me but with that being said, uh, check out my review right here. This is the first uh, album that I reviewed. I think it was two years ago when it came out. Uh, uh, please uh, like this video. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, please subscribe. I've been uh, getting close to uh, 2,000 subs. That last uh, review of the Rolling Stones has really uh, helped to boost my channel a lot.